They thought they could hide the witchcraft, but the suffering isn't allowing them to hide. Yes. It has gotten to a point where someone can't hide anymore because the suffering is just out of this world. The suffering is loud. The suffering is much. And they can't hide anymore. Someone has been performing witchcraft on you over and over again. Again and again. And they kept prevailing. But while they were prevailing, they didn't know they were literally accumulating a certain amount of darkness on them. And right now, the darkness that they have accumulated is beginning to react in them, like as I speak right now. Someone is going through the reaction of the darkness that they have accumulated due to witchcraft that they have been performing. Yes, they enjoyed the, pro they enjoyed the process. They enjoyed doing things, destroying people, attacking people in their dreams, attacking people's finances, people's businesses, destroying things over the place. They were really so happy about it because they were prevailing. But they did not know. They didn't know. Little did they didn't know that they were literally accumulating. Accumulating darkness that is reacting towards them right now. And someone isn't doing well. And because they're not doing well, they're about to come out and start confessing and start crying and start complaining. That things are going negatively in their lives right now. And that they are not in good health and that they that not, and that they've got things to confess about. Somebody didn't did someone did not see this coming. They thought they could hide the pain, they could hide the things that they've been going through. But it's time that God exposes somebody and they're gonna be coming out to, to they, 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 they themselves are gonna be exposing themselves. Nobody's gonna be exposing somebody because they are at a stage right now where they can't they can't hide anymore the evil that they've committed against people. They are about to come out all by themselves and start confessing and start saying they did this, they did that, they did that just so they could have some relief. But the truth is that the release is not going to be coming easy. Yes, it's, the, the release is not going to be coming just like that to them. They've got the price to pay. All the, the pain that they've caused on people, the pain that they've inflicted on people and working against them, and they've got to pay for that. In the name of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. Someone like this that went about, you know, inflicting pain on people by destroying things in their lives, some of you, they destroyed your finances, they destroyed your relationships, they destroyed your businesses, they, 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 you, they even rendered you homeless. They even tried to take your life. They even cursed, they, they, they cursed, they cursed some things that you acquired and you could not even use them. Like, they were literally against everything in your life. They were literally, in fact, after your own life at the end of it all because the plan that they, the plans that they had was to destroy all things in your life and they end up claiming your life taking your your life but because your hands were clean but because in the spirit you 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 did you, you god god searched you in the spirit and you had no fault you were being preserved someone was being preserved if if not that you had a right Standing, standing to God in your spirit, you would have been destroyed. But God saw you, you know, worthy to live and to keep glorifying his, his name. God saw you worthy to live so you may be able to continue healing the earth. God saw you worthy to live in order to testify of his goodness in your life, of his deliverance in your life. And now, because someone could not succeed in destroying you. This moment, they are lamenting in pain and they can't hide it anymore. Yes, someone can't hide the pain that they've been going through anymore because of what they did. They didn't actually see this coming. They didn't know that there was, there was going to be a time when they, uh, when they will be called, when judgment in the spirit shall call them to answer 
Someone is being judged right now in the spirit. Listen, spiritual things are supposed to be judged spiritually because people of the world, they don't, they don't understand spiritual things because spiritual things are carnal to... Spiritual things are foolishness to, to a carnal man. The people of the world do not understand spiritual things. And when God begins to deal with them spiritually, they begin to seek for physical remedy. <laughs> but God is that someone is about to come out to start confessing what they, what they, what they did behind the scenes against humanity, against people, innocent people who have been dwelling at peace in the land. A lot was done. A whole lot was done. And even now, a lot of people are still suffering because of what the enemies did against them. And someone was at the forefront, you know, someone was, was, was in charge of assigning people or their people to go up about destroying those they do not like. But they forgot to know that those people that they do not like are the apples of God's eyes. They are the people that God had chosen for himself. Men and women after God's heart. And God is saying that he can continue to allow them to suffer. It's their time of deliverance. Deliverance is, up. is coming right now. Glory be to God. Deliverance is coming right now upon somebody. There's deliverance now in Zion. Glory be to God. God is turning captivities around and liberating his people from the snares of the trapper. From the snares of the trapper. And someone has got to pay. Someone that they wish to live. Someone they wish not to live. Exodus 22 verse 18. You must not allow a sorcerer to live. And that's what's going on this morning. God's not allowing someone to live in peace. God is not allowing someone to live in peace. God is allowing someone to live in peace. Someone is in pain because of the evil that they committed. Because of the, the wicked things that they did on you. This is the time that they start in judgment in the spirit to answer before God. To answer before God. And repentance is coming to someone that was so wicked in the spirit. They are repent. They are about to repent and come back to Christ. To serve Christ, to serve God. Hallelujah. This is the time. Don't worry yourself. Don't worry about that you're going through this moment. Is it that family which that's uh, 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 um, um, I don't know, but the, the, this oh Jesus, but someone isn't isn't going to be. Someone is not doing well. Says a lot of hosts. Yes, whoever this person is, they're not doing very well. And they're about to come to confess all the bad, the wicked things that they've done against humanity. And God is setting humanity free. God is setting those who are in captivity free. There is healing coming upon some people this moment. Deliverance is come, coming upon some people this moment. Because, because someone is about to come out to confess, to accept what they've done and so that things could be undone. In the lives of those they've, they've put in captivity thank you so much god bless you and see you in the next please go ahead and subscribe to our new channel god bless you so much hallelujah go in the in the comment section i'll, I'll pin the, the 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 link of the new channel go and subscribe to it god bless you and see you in the next video